see us now? I can see you. I can see you. You look in my, better shape than I do, actually. <laughs> kind of distressing. Uh, well, okay, David and Homer. Uh, do I understand it correctly that these days you're holding it together with uh, duct tape, reefer, and prayer? <laughs> well, we've been doing that for yeah. a long time, time, especially these days. <laughs> So, so are you just, you know, admitting it to the world now or what? Well, well yeah, I, I think they've been suspicious yeah. for, for a long time. But yeah, I, I don't think the world will find out a shot from us. <laughs> well, uh, I, love, I love the song, the, the, the other lyric, um, we're, we're too old to work, but uh, too broke to quit. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people listening to this song, including myself, can relate to that very easily. Yeah, I think I think the world's pretty much in that uh that shape you know it's it's the way you know it, as you get older first you've you've made some money along the way but uh but you know things have gotten more expensive and and you've you've become the responsible person in your family a lot of mouths to feed <laughs> and uh that's what's happening to all of us well on the happier side i mean you guys are always on the road and presumably that's because there are people who still want to come and hear you sing and play. Uh, are there nights when you just look out in the audience and then look at each other and that, man, they still want us. They still want us. Yeah, I, I think, I think we do that pretty much every night. I think we've um, always done that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you show up at a place and there's like the parking lots full or the, you know, and then the, you're going, wow, you know, this is amazing. Who'd they come to see, you know? And then, and then you remember it's you and, you know, you it, it just have that thing with the audience. And, and we, we've always had a really good rapport with our audience though. And I, we're, we're really have been fortunate in the fact that, you know, we, a lot of times, especially like when we're doing shows like in Texas and stuff, you get people from two or three generations and, and one family that come to see you. And, and, you know, then the, and the little kids are, are, are singing redneck. And so, <laughs> It's it's odd. Well, I can remember uh, moving from I believe New Orleans to uh, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, for my first full time newspaper job, and Let Your Love Flow was on the charts, and it seemed like every fifteen minutes they were playing it on <laughs> the radio, and it yeah. never got old. It never got old. Do you remember the first time you heard that song on the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I was, uh, I was still working on the road with Jim Stafford at the time and we had recorded the album and the, and the, the song and, and, um, we were, Jim was playing in Lake Tahoe and Roger Miller was playing, uh, at Harrow, uh, at, uh, down the street from us. And Alice Cooper was playing at another, it was around Christmas and, uh, we got snowed in and couldn't none of us go home. So Jim decided to have a party in his suite and uh, Roger and Alice and, and Rip, Rip Taylor. Remember the old confetti? Oh yes. Oh, Rip yeah. Taylor was there and he, he came over and uh, I had the single, uh, someone had sent me the single and I'd never heard it, but Rip went up to the radio station and, and forced them to play. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all were down in the in the suite and uh and what what a what a group roger and alice cooper what an unlikely gathering and uh but uh it, it that's the first time i ever heard it on the radio of course it was it was it was forced they were forced to play it but I, that's the first time i ever heard it so and uh roger deemed it i can't repeat what roger said but he was right it's a <laughs> Effing hit. <laughs> <laughs> a palpable hit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you indicated that, you know, if, if there are things in your songs or other contemporary artist songs that may offend people, it's a good thing they don't remember Johnny Paycheck or uh, <laughs> David Allen oh. Coe. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you look back and, and at some of your songs and go, nah, we couldn't get that one on the radio today? Yeah, yeah, we do actually. Um, a lot of stuff you couldn't, but well, but that I mean that line, 
you know, that we threw in here, um, that it, it is, it just makes it kind of, it, it's, it seems strange to us because I hear people making a big deal out of something somebody said now, which to me is like, you know, really stupid. But, uh, and so that's why I think, God, if they, you know, they could go back and listen to Co or Paycheck, you know, uh, I mean, we toured with those guys, you know, and, and, you know, we toured with, I guess, I guess we were just used to outlaws because we were around a lot of them. They were our friends, you know, but, uh, we thought they were normal. We thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that people have just gotten so sensitive now and still it's just crazy. Well, I kind of sort of think take this job and shove it would still be yeah. um, resonant with the, for a lot of people these days. Yeah. yeah. They could relate. Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. I can think of a few co songs they wouldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> now you you've got an, an album coming out, Double Dog yep. Dare. Yeah. When when will we have access to this? We're thinking about August. Mm -hmm. Probably around August that we'll get it we'll get it out. Uh, we don't have an exact date, but we're closing in on one. Mm -hmm. But uh we've we've done uh well, we did, the, of course, the, the video with Gene, and the, the mm -hmm. traditional song we did with Gene, which we really, really uh, liked a lot and, and we had great response to it. That's been really a great, you know, we've had over a million people hitting it on YouTube already. And uh, it's uh, it's really done well. And so uh, I, we're, we're real, real happy with this project so far. I, but I think the album will be out about August. Even now. Do you have like butterflies in your stomach? Like, okay, we've got a new album coming out. Uh, I hope people like it. Uh, well, you know, yeah, as you go along, you're, because of the way things are, your expectations are different. Because you know, radio is not going to play it. You, you, are, you, you don't even, they just get that out of your mind. But you have so many other ways of exposing your, your music, you know, and, and, uh, you know, thanks to social media, we've, you know, we have uh, found a way to, you know, do these little videos and, and uh, expose it to a lot of people and, and still sell quite a few records and still uh, and play uh, 150 dates a year, you know. And uh, we really, you know, uh, hopefully unless our whole uh, fan base leaves us, you know, that'll that'll hang around for a while. Uh, it sounds like you're converting young ones. So when the oldsters go off to the, you know, promised land, uh, you, 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 you're still working on growing that fan base. That's, that's a yeah. move guys. Yeah. We've had, you know, we've had a really great fan base over the years and here in, in the States and in Europe and, and, and around the world really. And it's, it's been, a, sometimes it's been really um, shocking to us. I mean, we, We've shown up at hotels in India, you know, and and the 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 bellboys are singing our songs to us, you know, and, and so it's a very it's a very odd thing to see that, you know, and a lot of uh, we get videos. A friend of ours from Australia sent us a a, a video of uh, of these Aborigine guys in a bar there singing "I Need More of You," and uh, you know I, I love stuff like that because it's it's so cool to see you know people covering your music from all aspects of life. Well, guys, hope you keep on keeping on. And I'm looking forward to the new album. And I have to say, I love Crawling the Hole. And oh, there are quite a few lines in there that hit home for me. Let's put it that way. Right? <laughs> well, yeah. we're, we're glad you can relate. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, man. Bye-bye. Take it All easy. Right.